so we here we have the power cable it's connected in XPA1 here we have the universal cable that it's coming from the pump it's connected on XA1 which is this one the blue wire it will be connected on number one brown and black it will be connected on number two both of them black and brown it should be attached together so the sensor here I have the conductivity sensor which is coming as one uh, one cable it's uh, the cable is attached this is the conductivity sensor which it will be connected on X on XE3 and XE4 and the red wire it will be connected on XE2 so as you can see here at the, pay, at the sensor the black will go on X E3 number one then blue number two in XE4 it will go yellow and green it's coming the, uh, the wire as yellow and green it will go in number one and brown it will go in number two and the red it will come into XE2 number two as you can see here this is as for the setup and how you can wire the, uh, the compact controller conductivity so here we have a sigma pump which is control version uh, we have two types of control version the old the model which is this one or the new model both we both we can uh, put them both at the uh, we can uh, change the mode as the same we press on the p and we keep we keep pressing until it's coming this screen so here we can change for what we need we need a mode we'll press again p it will be as manual we need it will work so here we have to change it to analog we press again P we select analog as you can see start blinking here we'll press P so now it's giving me an error because the controller is off as you can see here the controller is off and there is no sensor the sensor is not on the water already here we run the controller it's still adjusting we'll put the sensor inside the water Just like this so here we have 27 degree we'll go inside the menu we'll, we'll fix the limits as you wish the limits we will fix them the limit temperature and the time then we'll, we'll go to the control We'll press OK. We'll select the pump dosing and the setup. We'll go to the input and, and here we'll select the sensor type. This let us put on stop. Now I stopped it already. Then we'll go to the output alarm dosing 
here we will go inside if you if you put unused or dozing it should be dozing here alarm or unused dozing limit alarm I actually uh, I put on alarm it depends on your use here pump max 180 stroke per minute you can adjust it as you wish you go back back we'll press on and it should be that's it then you just have to press start it will be start operating as you can see here the conductivity the percentage the temperature what you have this is the limits this is the pump this is how it's controlling and what it's controlling if we remove the water uh, the sensor from the water you will be able to see the conductivity is already is going down but as we set the limit it should be it should keep working because uh, as we set the limits so it should be okay like this it should be work as on automatic mode here if we fix if we removed any any of these cables over here if we removed any of these cables it will give us an error if we removed any of these cables the pump it will not work and you press and stop here the pump has been stopped when we press start again it gives us the frequency as 90 I hope this tutorial was good and helpful